If you don't have a shirt about Canada, you need to get one. Hi, Kenji here, and today we are going to be unboxing the Fudzy, Foodzy, whatever Z Arc Reflector. The most important thing is that it is an Arc Reflector. And I don't know how you pronounce the name, it might be Fudzy, Foodzy, who knows. But anyway, uh, this is going to be a very important piece of my new headshot setup, and I'm very curious to see how well it actually works. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and let's see what, what sort of quality that, that we get. Because this guy over here is only $73.99. And that's actually about half the price of, of the uh, Glow Arc Reflector. Um, well, maybe not half the price, but, but the Glow one, the Glow Arc Reflector is somewhere around $130 um, or $135. So this came in significantly lower than that, and it seems to be the same size. So I'm very curious to see what sort of quality that I'm gonna get for $74 versus spending $130 on the Glow version of it, or the Westcott one is, I don't know how much that one is. I'm gonna probably say somewhere around 400, who knows? I'll put the actual price somewhere up here or there or something like that. Uh, but the Westcott one is probably gonna be very expensive. The Glow one is actually a very good price at around $130, but you know what? This is even cheaper, and I just wanna see, do you get what you pay for, or is this actually gonna be pretty good for my purposes? So we'll see. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right. I feel like a lot of rods rolling around inside there. Okay, so I guess the first thing's first. Large bag, so it comes in a carrying bag, which is good. Nothing else inside the box. Box goes over there. Okay, so it is very nice that it comes with a carrying bag with Foodsy or Fudzy over here um, on the front. Um, so this way when you got like tons of bags sitting inside your studio, you know exactly what's inside here. Well, if you only have one Fudzy product, I guess. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty it's a pretty good bag. It doesn't, it doesn't have a shoulder strap, which is a little annoying. I kind of wish it had a shoulder strap. Um, it is nice that it comes with a bag at all, I guess, but only having these straps over here makes it so that you have to basically dedicate a hand to holding this. Although these loops are actually relatively large enough that you probably could actually put it over your shoulder, but then it's like kind of up in your, it kind of, like it's kind of up in your armpit a little bit. And this second strap keeps falling off. So I'm not a big fan of using carrying straps uh, to put over my shoulder. It just doesn't seem to work very well. Um, so I kind of wish that they attached on a shoulder strap or at least have a couple loops over here uh, on like metal loops that you can attach a shoulder strap to it, but it doesn't seem that they have anything. So, eh, that's the only the uh, first thing that I noticed, but the bag seems to be pretty, pretty good quality canvas and the zippers actually look to be relatively decent, decent heavy duty zippers over here. Let me see if I can focus that in on the zippers and the zippers over here are actually pretty decent. So I don't think that they're gonna be ripping anytime soon. All right, so let's open this guy up. So here we go. Everything comes in bubble wrap, which is kind of nice. And this is supposed to come with a stand. Uh, so let's see if it, that stand is inside the bag. If it's not, I'm gonna be a little disappointed because on Amazon, it looked like it came with a light stand for this to sit on top of. So first things, uh, let's go ahead and take all the material out first. So this, this arc reflector, it comes with three different types of material. One is black, one is white and silver, and one is like a gold silver reflector. And I normally don't use the gold too much. It adds a little bit too much yellow in my opinion. Um, but, and I don't think I'm gonna be using the black one very often at all. Now I might use the silver, uh, but I probably will say I will most likely use the white in order to give like a nice soft uh, light underneath the chin and also I'm, I'm a little bit on the sides of the cheeks and stuff like that. So that's what I'm actually probably going to be using the most is the white material. But it comes with black. 
As I said, I'm not going to be using that very much. This over here is the gold material and you can see over here that the gold material actually has like a stripe over here that is kind of like uh, gold mixed with silver. And that probably makes it so that it's not going to be too, like too much of a gold color. It might just add a little bit of a golden hue and so that actually might not be too bad. Because when I've actually used just pure gold reflectors. They're a little bit too golden, has too much of a yellow hue to things. So this actually might be a good balance. But I can let you know about that. All right, there's supposed to be other material inside here. Oh, here we go. This is the instruction manual for how to put this guy together. Because apparently it takes me about 10 minutes or something like that to put this together, so we will see. All right, this is part of the arc reflector. At least they uh, put it inside of some nice bubble wrap so it's not gonna get damaged in shipping. All right, so this over here is the piece that's gonna sit on top of the light stand. It's gonna loosen this guy up a little bit. It's gonna sit on top of the light stand and then it's gonna sit in this sort of orientation over here. And over here, it has this nice little uh, a clamp over here that's gonna go on the light stand. Let's put this right here. So this is gonna go right onto the light stand and then you use this, this over here in order to tighten this down onto the light stand so it doesn't move. And this over here swivels back and forth so you can actually change the angle of the light stand so, or, or um, of the um, arc reflector. So if you want it to be just straight up and down, you can basically have it in this sort of orientation. But if basically you wanted to basically tilt a little bit toward the subject and the subject were over here, then you can just tilt it up over here and then you can take this little thumb knob and screw it down so it's nice and tight. So um, it's actually not too bad. Now this is all metal, which is nice. These rods over here actually that were included inside that little part over there, inside that little bubble wrap bag, these are also metal. Now, I don't know how this thing actually goes together yet. I have no idea. This is the first time I'm taking a look at this. But these are metal over here. These have little uh, screw knobs over here. Not sure how they work, but anyway, I'm gonna put them down for now. And I'm gonna put this on the floor. Okay, so now let's actually pull out these other rods. And there's nothing else left inside the bag. This bag is now empty. Put this down. Oh, you know what? Going back to the reflectors for a second. I bet this reflector over here, let's go and open this guy up before we get over to these uh, rods. These rods, oops, over here for a second. All right, let's go and open this guy up for a second. I thought this was just the gold reflector, but I don't think it is. I think it's reversible, which makes sense. Pull this guy out. Let's take a look at him a little bit closer. Aha, so I thought, okay. So over here is the white reflector. So the white is on the back of the gold reflector. And that doesn't quite make sense to me. I thought that we have silver on one side, uh, gold on the other, and then black on one, and then white on the other. But I guess they wanted to put the white on the back of the gold one, so. Hey, whatever. So, just so you know that it does actually have black, white, silver, and gold, but they're using both sides of the reflector, which totally makes sense. And just for completeness, let's go ahead and open up the black one as well. Okay, so here's the black one. And if I'm correct, yep, the black one does have silver on the inside, or on the other side, should I say. So, uh, black on one side, silver on the other. They actually feel like pre pretty good material. Um, and this and this silver material actually doesn't seem like it's super reflective. It's not just like, like a mirror. So actually, this may not be too bad to use, but I'm still probably gonna be using the white material for my arc reflector in general. Just so it's not too much of like a weird alien light coming, uh, just like hitting them from, from underneath. So I'm gonna put that onto the side. And let's 
going to pull out these guys over here now. Sorry about all the noise. Okay, let's put these out of the bubble wrap. Okay. So these are all the various pieces to the arc reflector. So these are all metal and they have these little push button things right, uh, try to get the focus right here. So these are little push button things right over here. And so you can basically push them in and they spring back out and they spring back out. So uh, these will probably just clip into whatever they need to and then they will create the different arcs and it's pretty good. I, I don't know if they expand or not. Maybe they don't, I don't think they do. But you know what, I'll let you know when I actually set this thing up, which, you know what, why don't we just try to do it right now? Let's see how easy it is to do. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a uh, time lapse of me actually setting this guy up. Let's see how long it takes. Right now we are somewhere around 13 minutes into the video. Well, you know what, after I cut this, it's gonna be a lot lower than that. But here we go, let's go and start. You know what? I was actually wrong. There's actually only one diffusion material and this actually Velcros onto that one piece of diffusion material. So that's interesting that they have one pad and then they have something that you can add on top of it. Actually, you know what? I just looked on the Amazon page that, that this product is on, and it actually doesn't say that it comes with the light stand. So that is actually my fault. It actually doesn't come with that. Good thing I always have light stands laying around. Um, but just know that it only comes with the actual arc reflector and this plate over here that will fit on any standard light stand. So that's actually my fault. Good thing on Black Friday, I ordered uh, multiple new light stands, so. This is it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Okay, so these rods over here, that's just supposed to go through this material over here. There's like two like rod holders on the ends and darn it, I'm gonna have to do that again. But no wonder like I kind of felt that it was weird that it was all like it, like it wasn't taking up the full length of the arc, but now I completely understand why it didn't take up the full length. So let's go ahead and cut and we'll be right back with it actually set up correctly. All right, now I can basically put this on. It's the third time I dropped that. Third, third time. I almost dropped it again, geez. Look at me, Butterfingers. Okay, so this is my first little bit of feedback here. The material is so tight that I'm actually having troubles trying to get it into the actual uh, final screw holes. And that is actually very annoying to the point that, I don't know, maybe once you have this thing set up, you don't take it apart. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. 
But let's go ahead and keep going. I'm going to see if I can get this all put together. And uh, let's see actually if I break this. I really hope I don't because I really want this to be in use. That was unfortunately not the hardest part. Now I'm gonna be on to the actual hardest part of this. So wish me luck. not going to unfortunately get resolved immediately without me getting some power tools out. So let's go ahead and finish this up with uh, getting the diffusion material on just so you can see what you're getting. So this over here is the arc reflector. Once again, let's get this thing all nice and angled toward you over here. So, all right, so this over here is the arc reflector. This thing is very taut, a little bit too taut in my opinion. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically take this material over here and it looks like it's supposed to uh, Velcro onto these edges over here. So it's gonna put the white material on and see how it goes. Actually, you know what? What I just noticed, the very white edges over here, this is the Velcro material, not the black part. So uh, what you do is basically take the diffusion material and then you, did, and you just Velcro it onto the white part. So there you go, now you have a white reflector, which is probably how I'm gonna be using this most of the time. Um, and it, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, the thing is definitely seems to be pretty sturdy. Uh, it's not super heavy weight. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this off to the side and let me give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is a very interesting arc reflector. I do like that I have it. I do need to get it so it's probably permanently set up, but probably once it's set up, I may not take it apart again. It's either that or maybe what I'll do is I will drill a couple new holes so that way I can relieve some of the tension uh, so it's not that hard to get the actual rods into the um, into the very last uh, hole. Um, but I am actually pretty happy with it so far. Uh, the material actually seems to be relatively durable. Uh, everything is is actually made out of metal. It went to get I mean like it went together pretty well and pretty quickly I mean around 10 to 12 minutes um, And that's actually with me going over the instructions since I've never set it up before Once I've actually done this a couple times I'm sure it would actually go together a lot faster probably maybe around the five to eight minute range. I would say but uh, Given that it was my very first time going through it. I was actually going through the instructions which always slows you down um, I would probably say that this thing could probably be put together in somewhere around uh, the 10 minute range. I think it was probably take me somewhere around 10 to 12 if I didn't actually mess up and put the rods in the wrong spot. Um, so the only thing that I wasn't too happy with that it, is that it seems like the holes drilled into the ends of the rods uh, for the actual uh, side uh, rods that actually slipped through, they were possibly misdrilled a little bit uh, so that the actual rods didn't slip through very easily and there was just so much uh, Tension put by the material that it was very hard to actually get them into place and I'm not too happy about that um, But once I actually get it in place I might just keep it together all the time and when I need to put it into my car I'll just kind of put it in as one big piece and It's gonna be a little bit of a pain to lug around that way, but at least I don't have to do any sort of setup on site. I just have to kind of lug it in there. So anyway, I'm gonna give you my full thoughts on it and how it fits into 
my new headshot setup and I'll let you know what I think about it. So anyway, this is the Fudzy Clamshell uh, Arc Reflector and the size of this thing is 67 inches by 24 inches. Um, and it does not come with a stand, so keep that in mind. You do need a light stand for it, but it will fit any standard light stand and you get light stands for as cheap as $25. Uh, so, and you don't need a really tall one for this one. You really actually want it to be relatively short if you want it to be kind of underneath the person. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to spend a ton of money on it. You just need to have something, uh, you know, inside the $25, $35 range. And I think that's pretty, uh, probably going to suit most of your purposes. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions about this arc reflector, how to use it, uh, any of my further thoughts, definitely feel free to leave me questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out this channel. Um, I'm really trying to ramp up the number of subscribers. So if you can subscribe, hey, it really helps me out. And until next time, take care.